Hey guys, through here with another bit for Blender, and this one we're gonna be designing sci-fi stairs. Just very quickly before we start, guys, we have Patreon as Blender Bros together with Josh. Three tiers, awesome perks, lots of tutorials, decals, critiques, all the jazz. Check the link in the video description and hope to see you there. Thanks. Let's grab a plane and let's create a step. So hold control and scale it with S. Can actually make it a little bit larger. And something like this will do. And now we need to decide whether we want to, you know, bevel it or just keep it like that. I think what we're going to do is maybe chamfer this a little bit. So select these two and control shift B. And we need to apply scale. So control A and apply scale. Otherwise, the bevel is not going to work properly. So do something like this. That's cool. Let's uh, go to modifiers and solidify down. Uh, and then what we're going to do is cut it inside. So um, let's maybe activate box cutter and do something like this here. B for bevel. And let's drop maybe 12 segments. And we're going to cut it through like this. Press T. We're going to solidify it a little bit. Okay, that's cool. Now let's control sharpen and select this bit. Control L and P to its own selection. So we're going to grab this one and move it a little bit up. Maybe somewhere here. And select both and bevel. Select just one. And let's actually cut it again. Uh, let's cut it like this, actually. Whoa. Switch to view. Orthographic. And slice it through. Press X three times for inset. And let's create something like this. That's pretty cool. Let's sharpen this. Brilliant. And now we're going to what we're going to do is um, create some cuts in here. So, kind of like this, bevel it, and V, X, move it somewhere here, and yeah, this will do, and mirror this to the other side, create a cut like that, press knife, K for knife, slice. This will take care of all the uh, all these lines here, you see. So when I apply this, it's going to be nicely, neatly connected to the edges. That's brilliant. Uh, we can create some two more notches here, maybe on this side. So maybe maybe here. And let's go to let's go to uh, edit mode and yeah, macro this. So click Alt and move your mouse. And I think this is a little bit too shallow, so it needs to be a bit deeper like that. There you go. And this is already beveled. We can create two more cuts here just for fun. So one here, one there. Maybe a little bit differently. Maybe like this. That's better. Sharpen this. This one needs a bit of a, you know, bit of a designer push so D for N gone do something like this and and boom right uh, this should do we need some edges here so select these two mark them sharp and uh, I think we're done we need the bevel here so let's switch bevel to weight so this edge is gonna get caught by bevel because the angle is a little bit too shallow. And I think we're done. Awesome. And let me think. What else do we need to do? We could actually uh, go to front view. Where is it? Here, right? Uh, select this one and make it a little bit uh, less less crazy. So maybe with N-Gon do something like this. Yeah. And, you know, boom. And make sure that this one is also mirrored to the other side. Mm, that looks good. 
sharpen this connect these two with j and now what we're gonna do is array this so q array press x to reset it and we're gonna array it on the z-axis okay a few times go to array settings and we need to offset it so uh, whoops on the my bad on the uh, i think y axis there you go so do something like this maybe there's too many of these steps maybe we're just gonna make you know a few of them there you go and now we have a choice here yeah? you can either add the the bottom i mean the support on the bottom or we could add this in the side um either one works so what we're gonna do is go with an end gun and we're gonna go with cyclic and we're simply gonna draw with hold control and uh, somewhere here and press t for scaling um, this will do and uh, simply extrude it oh wait a minute we need to deselect everything make sure you deselect everything so press a twice or alt a if you don't use machine tools um, now uh, my angle is uh, set to perma, perma snap so here um, so I need to hold control to release it and make sure it just runs more or less the same angle and one more time come on there we go and extrude it a little bit move it here to the side so GX move it somewhere here I'm probably gonna make it a little bit wider like this move it somewhere here so it's on the other side it should end somewhere here so let's grab a box and you know and let's slice it here like this there you go and this will be connecting to some kind of a you know structure right so maybe cut it like this and there you go and uh, what we could do is uh, apply this so sharpen and run some uh, cuts through it so we could go to box and turn the line line box here hold control and do something like this and then press v to array this all right b and slice it okay that's pretty cool also in addition to all this we're gonna create some interest in here so do something like this okay and that will do you could also slice it from this side just to make make some interesting shape boom and there you go and copy this to the other side so that's copied awesome now this stair could use a little bit more of a, a kind of a design touch in here like this this would do and that's pretty cool awesome now let's turn the cavity on and also this one needs a uh, sharpen so sharpen and weighted normals this one is weighted normals and i think we cook in with fire there's a bevel here no there isn't so we're gonna introduce some bevel and you can see we're getting some uh, some issues probably uh, if i'm gonna go to alt v and check face orientation we got some flip normals there we go so go to edit mode, mode select everything alt n flip outside done now <clears throat> these connections here are not ideal well they they're far from ideal so what we're gonna do is probably gonna slice it so let's go to all the v face orientation and uh, the other view and let's slice this with an end gun okay so we're gonna go here 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 and here and I'm gonna press K and just slice it and remove all these edges here that I don't need so just to clean it up a little bit this one too this could cause some really cause some uh, you know issues with battles so we don't want them 
you always want to clean your booleans and your boolean cuts so remove these remove this and remove these remove these two and these there we go that's better on this one too and this one a lot of junk there we go awesome okay now uh, we need some texturing also you know what i'm thinking maybe you could just um, make this part a bit more hollow so it's not so uh whoops uh, so it's not so um thick it's, it's a little bit thick to be honest or maybe you can just hang on this in so grab an angle here and do something like that and cut it in here come on let's switch to view or to graphic yeah this should work uh, there we go maybe that's a little bit too shallow or maybe we're just gonna slice it really in the middle you know like that that should work Boom. Sharpen. Awesome. Yes, it's kind of like a lighter in structure, you know. Okay, so let's go to... Um, oh, let's go to look dev and... Switch it to something different. And let's go to... With alt to kit up slower. And let's maybe add some... Uh, some colors here so uh, what we want to do is actually split this uh, in two so this one should be separate so we can add a different color here a different color over there so one more time go to other and let's go to grime and make it kind of bluish and material and this one we could make um yellowish and the base we could make, you know, dirty steel, something so metal. And steel dirty. Cool. We could add some, we could add some dirty up. So deselect everything, Q, mats, go here, go to um, dirty and grab this one. And add insert, then remove it, and then go to shader editor. And we're gonna insert it in here. So shift A group and dirty up and boom. And find it here. Dirty up and boom. And uh, group. Where is it? Dirty up and boom. And all we need to do is simply fix the rotation, I think. So, because these are rotated. Where's my dirt? Oh, there is here. That's cool. So, let's select this one and maybe uh, change the uh, amount of dirt or a scale of it. Actually, scale was pretty good. Change the height as well. So this will do. And you know you could add some D glass as well. Also on the side, the stairs look a little bit um, a little bit thick in my opinion, maybe, maybe too thick. So we can grab an angle and lighten the form up a little bit. So select this one and you know you could do something like this. Uh, boom, right? Maybe that's not the best idea, maybe somewhere here. something like that and they could also use some support you know here some kind of a um, support beam or something so you could add some support over there but uh, you know this will do kind of like a nudge um, this could be added under each of the stairs to be honest because they are weight so it's gonna be easier so we could you know add something here so what you could do is um, uh, create a cut in here, maybe with a knife, and just you know extrude something downwards to make it work. So let's uh, let's sharpen this. 
so the boolean is gonna get applied and you know something here right so um, let's uh, let's grab it to local and select this one go to edit mode and uh, activate your box cutter and we could cut something in here like this with a knife and zoom and then this is a little bit too deep it's gonna fight with the bevel so g uh, g y and move it in here same here g y and move it in here and we could select this uh, uh, this shape here like that and go to here and uh, em macro this like that you know and it's gonna be some kind of a connection here so there you go and sharpen it so it's beveled there we go and the bevel is a little bit too big because it's overshooting so make it smaller and we're done cool so there's your sci-fi stairs really quickly uh, you know a very quick design in with hard ups and box cutter we used a bit of kit ups and you know to add some mats well guys that's it uh, for this video hope you enjoyed it give us a like and sub if you did and if you want to buy hard ups box cutter uh, or kit ups or the definitely ev materials which is what i've used to texture this you know hop into the link section in the video description everything is in there all the items i'm using grab them because they're amazing thanks for watching catch you next video